All right, so today we're going to be looking at an ELR from Compass Learning Company, and um, it's titled Fish Tails. And students are going to be measuring, um, categorizing, and um, sorting fish by their size in order to help Mango pick the biggest fish. Uh, this particular ELR helps to meet the standards 1.1 and 1.2 for math and geometry in second grade. And um, yeah, so we'll just get started here. We'll start by clicking on the begin button. As you can see, there's a lot of animation, um, some good sounds. Help Mango measure and compare length so he can catch a big fish. Drag the ruler to the fish. Measure it, then choose the length in inches. So there's no uh, written direction, everything's auditory. So Five if you um, miss the directions, you can just go over here and click on this, um, this uh, a microphone, a speaker. If you didn't know what it was. Say it again. You just uh, put your pointer on the, the figure and uh, Say it, again. it tells you what it does, and so we'll click it. Drag the ruler to the fish. Gives you Measure the it, then choose the length in inches. One more time, so you can see that the ruler moves. First time I did this, I thought the fish should move, and I'm just kind of discouraged by that. But fortunately, the ruler does move, so you can line it up however you want mm -hmm. to show you um, the length of the fish in inches. So we're looking three at three inches. Three, three inches. inches. So four as you go inches, over, five inches. Each um, of the options to choose from, it gives you what it says: three inches. Three. What a cat! So that's what happens when you get the answer correct. Choose the longer fish. Here we're doing comparisons of lengths again. Eleven inches. It tells you nine the length. Inches, nine inches. To show you what it happens when you get it incorrect. So it's a cartoon. Use length to decide which objects are shorter and which objects are longer. So it gives you a little tutorial. The greater the number of inches, the longer the fish. About how which to choose is greater, the right answer. Nine inches or eleven inches. Nine inches. Choose the longer fish. And it repeats the directions, so that's really helpful too. Um, so we'll what a answer. cat! Put these fish in order from shortest to longest. So what two inches? We're going to organize inches. these. It gives you the nice boxes so it's really clear where you're putting the fish. Six inches. Twelve inches. You got it. Kind of encouraging. This Thanks. fish is nice. big. Measure it in feet. So we were transitioning Four from feet. talking about inches to feet. So there's two different uh, modes of measurement introduced. Um, so we'll move our guy to check our ruler to see how long that is. It's about five, five feet. feet. Super. Which fish is shorter? And so now we do the same process of telling the length, saying which one's comparing two lengths, and then organizing them by length. For, for feet as well. I guess overall I think it's an appropriate ELR for second grade specifically because the directions aren't written out and in second grade they're still students are still figuring out how to read so there's still all the auditory um, directions. Uh, it's really engaging, there's lots of colors, good animation. Um, the company itself seems to be a, a good company. It gives a lot of information on the website that's uh, about how the product works, um, the other support systems that it have if you do choose to purchase the product. There was also um, discussion about differentiation um, capacities for these programs. They have a wide range of programs, so for math, science, history, and with any of those programs you get uh, an assessment option where you can track individual students and the whole class. There's also the option for differentiation where you can um, customize how you differentiate or the computer has its own program. So um, I think it's a pretty decent program. I'm not sure of the cost of it, but uh, but I think it might be worth it and I would be willing to use it in my classroom.